Imagine there was a way to get customers to spend more with you on your Shopify store or some magic way to make them buy more than one product at a time. If that happened, our average order would go up, we'd sell more products, we'd get more profit, and at the end of the day, we'd have more money in our bank account. Well, you can stop imagining because there is a super simple method that you can use and the same one that I've used on my Shopify stores that has seen my customers increase their spend on my Shopify store by over 20%. I do that by creating bundles and packages, putting them on a single product page to make sure that customers buy more than one product at a time and make it an absolute no brainer for them to buy from us and spend more money. Now this type of functionality is usually only available for super large stores with the development teams or you'd have to pay for an app to be able to do this, creating bundles and packs and kits and things like that. However, Shopify recently made an update where they've made this feature free for all Shopify stores by installing one of their apps and it's called Shopify Bundles. Now I've spent the last few days on my stores testing out Shopify Bundles, seeing how it works, the best way to use it, how to configure it. And I wanna share with you today, the good, the bad, and the ugly of Shopify Bundles so you know whether or not it's right for your store. And if it is, I'm gonna show you the exact way to set it up so you can get your customers to spend more with you in every single transaction. So we go to apps.shopify.com and in here we're going to type in bundles. We're going to look for the app called Shopify Bundles and we can see it's free so we're going to click that one. And my one says open app because I've already installed it but your one here is going to stay install app. So go through the app install process to get it installed onto your store. Once it's installed we're going to go through and we're going to click bundles and you're going to come to a screen like this. Now it's unlikely you're going to have any bundles in here because I've already been testing it out, these are bundles that I'd created earlier. Now, before we get straight into bundles, I wanted to let you know about some eligibility requirements that you need to have on your store for bundles to work properly. Now, firstly, bundles can only be used with the online store channel in Shopify, which means you can only sell bundles via your Shopify store. You're not able to sell it on other channels like Facebook or Google or into marketplace feeds. You can only do it on your Shopify store. The second thing is if you've got a customized checkout, say you're on a plus store and you're using checkout.liquid, bundles is not compatible with checkout.liquid. Now that's a bit of a depreciated functionality anyway for Shopify plus stores. So if you are using Shopify plus, you should have upgraded your checkout now anyway, so it shouldn't apply too much. The other thing is with some scripts, it doesn't work so well with Shopify scripts. So if you are using Shopify scripts, then again, you're just gonna check whether or not the scripts are going to impact your bundles and vice versa. And then finally, the other eligibility requirement is it doesn't play nicely with some apps such as recharge subscription apps and a few other ones. In order to find out whether or not you meet all the eligibility requirements, Shopify has made a page here, which is gonna tell you a little bit about the requirements. Now, most people, are gonna meet these requirements. And to be honest, if you've customized and you have things like that, Shopify bundles might not actually be the best for you anyway because it is a very basic bundles app. So let's get back to the app now and we're gonna start setting up some bundles. So to create a new bundle, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click create bundle and we're gonna call it something. So this one we're gonna do a boxing and shorts bundle. So one of my stores, we sell all types of boxing equipment and martial arts. So we're gonna create a little pack for people who are into boxing to make sure they get a great deal if they buy two or more items. So let's click select products. And what we can do here is we choose the products that we want to put in the bundle. So I'm going to make this an Adidas bundle. So we'll call it Adidas gloves. We'll find out these products. So this is here is going to list all the products that you have on your store. I'm going to choose these ones here. And we click select. We can see here it's brought through our options and our variants, okay? So we can see the options of the size and then all the different variants per each of those size. Now I wanna pair this up with some boxing shorts. So I'm gonna click add products and I'm gonna do Adidas, type Adidas shorts and it should find the product. Adidas shorts and we do these ones and we click select. And now we can see we've got another one here. This is a single option, which is the size and it's got all the variants. Now something important to note over here on the right is the components. So it tells us here that bundles can include up to 30 different products. Limits for bundle options and variants are the same as other products. What this means is that yes, we can add in up to 30 products in one bundle. However, we can only have a certain amount of options. And in this case, we're gonna have three options. So our options in this size, color, and then we have another size here. So that's a total of three options. The other restriction is the amount of variants that we can have. And this is the same variant constraint that we have on a normal product in Shopify. We can only have up to 100 variants. Now in this selection here, this is all okay. But let's just say I wanted to create a third product in this package and I click add products 
And let me just say I want to do boxing shoes. Okay, we click boxing shoes and I'll choose these ones. We'll do all this black and white stuff here. Now, what we see is that we've now overdone the amount of options that we can offer and we have blown out our variants. So we can only have up to 100 variants, but right now we have 920 because of all the different sizes that come into play. So this is really one of the restrictions of bundles is you are constrained to the constraints of Shopify's product architecture. Now, if you watch my other video about Shopify additions that was released, I talked a little bit about this variant restrictions going away. Now this is gonna go away in late 2024 and you're going to be able to have up to 2000 variants, which means bundles are gonna become a lot more usable. But right now we can only create really small really basic types of bundles. So because I can't create this bundle, I'm actually gonna remove this one here and I'm just gonna do a shorts and boxing gloves combo because that meets all the requirements. So we'll go through and we'll save and continue. Great, so what this brings us to is a pretty standard product page that, that we all should be pretty much used to when we're creating products in Shopify. There's a bit of a drawback here though. Everything we see here is blank. So we need to go ahead and recreate all this copy and all these descriptions and add all these images. Luckily, it's the exact same process that we'd normally use when we create a product. So we'd go through and we could write our description in here. We would upload our media here just as we normally would. All right, so I'm not gonna waste your time by going through that. You guys should know how to do that. And if you don't, I did create a Shopify tutorial for beginners that takes you through exactly how you should set up your product pages. So make sure you check that video out. So let's scroll down and there's something a little bit different about this product page, however. We can see that we've now got that this is a bundle products and it's by bundles. So we can see it includes the two products we included in there. And if we do wanna go through and edit this again, we just click this little button up here and we click edit with bundles and it takes us back to that bundles page that I was in before. So if we scroll down, we see all of these different option sets for the bundles as variants against the product, the same way you would see a normal product with variants in it. The only difference is it has calculated the products in the bundle together to give you a total. So this is the price of the bundle of the two products added together. Now let's have a quick look at this on the store. So we'll click preview and we can have a look at it on my store as a preview. And we can see here that we've got the options here and the price remains the same depending on which options I choose. Now, all these options here all have the exact same price, so that's gonna be absolutely fine. So this is how we're seeing it. You can see my weird description there, but we would also have an image here as we need to. So it just uses the standard product template. Now, what we want to do though, is because bundles, we want to incentivize people to buy these products, we might give a small discount if they buy two of them at once. So in order to do that, we need to go in and edit individual variants and mix the prices. So we'll go back to the product page and show you how we do that. Scroll down, we can click into this one here. And what we can see is we've got our price and our compare at price. Now, if you've ever run discounts on Shopify before by using the price and the compare at price, you'll know how this works. But basically price is the price you wanna sell it for it now and compare at price was the original price that it was. So if we put the compare at price higher than the price, we're gonna see a strike through on that. And I'll show you how that works. So I'm just gonna copy this here across to the compare at price. And I'm gonna sell this for $230, okay? So a small discount on that one. So if we click save, we can see the variance updated. And I'm just gonna go back to this bundle and you can see I've updated the 12 ounce black, white, small combination here. So I'll go back to the bundle, I'm gonna refresh the page. Obviously you can't do that, so we'll go back and we'll go to this one here and we will preview it like this. There you go, we're all learning at the same time. All right, so it's got 12 ounce black, white, and we can see that now sells for $230 and that one is $259.94, which is the combined price. However, if I click 16, it drops to the normal price, which means if you wanna discount all of these variants, you need to go into each and every one of them and make that edit. So if you've got a lot of variations and options, this is gonna take a little bit of time. So we go into each one and we click through and we change the pricing there. So that's one thing you need to do. Unfortunately, this is one of the bad things is it doesn't have bulk editing like it does on a normal product page. So usually on a normal product page, we could click through here and we could go actions, bulk edit, and we would be good to go. We could do it all in one go. But here we don't have that feature, unfortunately. So, and even if we click edit prices, we only get the sell price, not the compare at price. All right, so that's a little drawback of this one here. So that's sort of the main features if you just want to bundle the same products. Now, there's another type of bundle we can do, which is a quantity bundle, right? So we might want to do a deal on multiple quantities if people do bulk buys. Now, this is a really good feature if you can sell 
multiple of the same thing. And we might do that, say, with our shorts. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go back to bundles, create a new bundle, and I'm going to call this uh, two for $100 shorts. Actually, we won't do that. We'll do something better here. Let's, let's do something a little bit better. Let's do uh, multi buy shorts deal. Okay. All right, now we're going to select the products and choose Adidas shorts. And for those of you in America, I'll say Adidas <laughs> instead of Adidas, Adidas. All right, so we'll go to the Adidas shorts. We'll click select. And what we can do here is on the top right, we're going to have this one here that says add quantity as an option. So we'll choose that. So if we sell one item, it's one quantity. If we sell two items, it's two quantities, but we could do something like five items, five quantities, okay? And that's going to let us to sell things in bulk. Now, what we could do here is this just the option value. So we'd write one pair, one pair, two pairs, and we could do like in this save $10. And then we can go five pairs, say $30, right? As an example. Okay, so if we click done on that, we now see we've got another option, which is to bulk buy. So we'll save and continue this. And let's have a look how this looks. Okay, great. So we can option it here. And then if someone goes to buy this, they're gonna buy multiple units every time they choose this. However, we can see that the price has just multiplied based on the quantity of the units. So what we want to do now is we want to go back in there and add the discount onto these ones. So we'll go back in and we're now going to go buy two pairs, save $10. So we go in here, we do the same thing. We copy that, paste it in there, and we're going to drop this by $10. Okay, we'll save that one. And we do that again for every single size. We'll do the same for the five pairs just to show you how it works. We'll do that. And we'll change that down to this one here. Click save. All right, we'll go back and we'll preview this one here. All right, so we click two pairs, save $10. And we can see we've got the deal here, five pairs, save $30. So that's a really good strategy to do multi-buy products. We could use the quantity breakdown in bundles to be able to do this. So that's how Shopify bundles work. But the challenge for you is, is how do you come up with ideas on the types of bundles or the multi-buys or the packages that you put together so that your customers are gonna spend more money with you. Now we've spent a lot of time going through this in my e-commerce academy program and we have really nailed sort of the three different ways that you can increase your average order value. There's three different types of bundles and packages that you can do. Now I've included as a PDF down below all the different packages and how you can unpack your products to repack into a package. Hopefully that makes sense, but I've given you sort of these three strategies. So I'm gonna take you through what they are now. The first strategy is what we call the would you like fries with that strategy. And this is similar to what McDonald's does. If you go into a McDonald's, you go to buy a Big Mac, uh, they'll always say to you, would you like fries with that or would you like it in a combo? So what I want you to think about is if you have a product, what is the fries that goes with your product? So if I think about my boxing gloves, you know, the fries with that might be boxing hand wraps. If you've ever done boxing, they wrap their hands up. It's a really cheap add-on. So we might do a gloves and wraps bundle. Okay, that might be one sort of thing. So that's a small increase in add-on. The second one is the multi-buy add-on on which we talked about a little bit, where you might be able to sell the same product to them so they get two of them at the same time, but get a slight discount. So it increases the amount of products they buy from you. So this is a multi-buy discount. We'll often do that on things like t-shirts or shorts. You might even do it on shampoo or skincare or deodorant, things that people use regularly that they would prefer to have multiple of so they don't have to keep buying time and time again. And we find that this is an amazing strategy to actually get more revenue out of people and to sell more products. Because if they're buying one, why not buy two, especially if you get a discount. And then the third strategy, which you'll find in this PDF, is the one where we create a kit for someone. So think about in this store that I showed you on, where we talk about boxing. Imagine we had a boxer starter kit, which came with a pair of gloves, it came with a mouth guard, it came with some shorts, and you could put it all together so that if someone was starting boxing, they knew that this was the kit that they needed to buy, and you do all the work for them. You just make it super simple for them to make the decision, to know what to buy. And if they're a beginner, they're not gonna have to go browse the site and make sure they're buying the right or the wrong thing. So we make it easy for the person. So have a think about the types of kits that you might wanna put on your store. So if you want help with that, just grab the PDF down below. It takes you through everything that you need to know about 
increasing average order value, the types of kits that you can make, the multi-buyers, the packs, everything, so that you know exactly how to use something like Shopify bundles on your store. Now, in conclusion, Shopify bundles is an okay app. Okay, it's very basic. It just does really simple bundling and nothing more. If you want something more complex, more advanced, more crazy bundles, you're gonna probably have to pay for an app or get it custom coded. But if you're just starting out on bundles, hey, it's not too bad an app. And I think over time, it's gonna get better and better. You know, when the variant limit gets increased, when we can have more options, we might be able to customize it, we might be able to do better discounting. I think this is just the beginning of Shopify trying to really help you sell more products and make more money. So. Uh, Give bundles a try, it's free. It doesn't matter whether or not you like it or you don't like it, but it's a nice way to test out product bundles, test out packages, test out multi-buyers without having to spend lots of money on an app. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I make videos like this all the time. So be sure to check out my channel. We talk about Shopify, we talk about Facebook ads, we talk about Google ads, analytics, budgeting, you name it, everything that goes into starting, running and growing an e-commerce business, uh, I try and teach. And if there's something that you don't find in my channel, comment down below, something you might wanna learn about and I, uh, I'll do a video on it. But in the meantime, there's lots of videos around here that you could try uh, to help you grow your Shopify business.